Usually, I start my day together with thousands of fellow students. We pour into the university and leave the building hours later. This looks like a beautiful place to relax. But I'm not here as a tourist. The last thing I feel like doing is sitting still in a classroom. But what about my career? And the challenge to our economy? How are we going to solve global issues? And how can I contribute? I have to move on. One of our strengths is to attract ambitious students from all around the world. They come here with a lot of knowledge and experience, and they want to work in international teams. I came here to study, I came here to learn a language, and I found Switzerland to be one of the most diverse European countries um, with four languages. Switzerland has a lot of technology, a lot of uh, really innovative and competitive companies. I was really attracted by the opportunity, by the possibility to uh, study in English. Actually, this is an intercultural think tank, and this think tank is also appealing to companies. So the companies provide us with real case problems. Scott is a leading company for high-end sports products. We produce worldwide and distribute our goods from Belgium and Salt Lake City. Originally from the USA, our company is now based in Switzerland. Our highly innovative products are developed and designed here in our headquarters. How are we going to bring them to new markets? We are committed to progress, and in this process our external partners provide invaluable input. There's a real case problem. The marketing department of Scott might want to know about Chinese consumer behavior. So they might want to find out what values Chinese people allocate to high-tech bikes. And in the middle of the time, we have... Uh, have uh, you know, and what we are trying to do is to find new markets for our products. And this is our when I first met Alex, I learned that not all Swiss are punctual. And our question to you and to you is yeah. if there's somebody in this room, in this group, who yeah. could help us to find out how the Chinese think. Huh? What are the values? What cheap, very cheap, and then a high-end technology. What connotations would a Chinese consumer allocate to a bike? We need a team of two people. Who would like to volunteer for that? When I first met Chan, I knew she'd be my perfect partner uh, for this project. Project work is an opportunity for our students to put their learning into practice in the workplace. They plan meetings, organize campaigns, negotiate. Your cultural background would really help to make this project a success. I mean... You... They learn about building trust and convincing people. I, I, I can show you that. I thought I had made myself clear that I wish to work on projects useful for the future. For us, bicycles are something from the past. But when I saw even the manager from Scott wearing a bike helmet, I became a little bit more curious. The 
One big uh, task here is to work in the group. So they want to create kind of applied and practice environment for students as the people in the company. You deal with uh, real cases and from other companies, and then you, you read these cases and then you come up with your own solutions. Marketing has a lot to do with knowing your customers. It is about trying to see the world through the eyes of others. This is what our students learn by dealing with real case studies, but also by dealing with each other. In the program that I was attending at the University of Applied Sciences, there were 19 different cultures, 19 different countries represented. You have people from all around the world, and you really have the opportunity to talk with them on a, on a close basis. You have to work with these people, although you don't really know them, you have to find a way to uh, achieve uh, results. In my country, things are changing very fast. You can't keep up with the bicycle nowadays. But if all the streets are jammed with cars, you won't get anywhere either. True. But a part of caring people, a car also carries a message. It says, I've moved on, I've got somewhere. And a bicycle says, I'm thinking ahead. Explain. Well, for one, you show in some respect to the environment. Oh, we are actually very respectful to our fellow people. And? And if you get to work dirty, it doesn't show much respect. Ooh, that only happened once. Well, one chance is all you get in business. Are we in business? We're working at it. <laughs> and it's not just students, it's also professors which add to the international experience. I have professors from India, also from America, from England, from China, from Spain, so it's not just the students which enhance the learning experience. The professors also bring something to the table. Well, hello everybody. Nice to have you here uh, for our presentation. The survey the students conducted was very useful to us. It gave us new insights. Now I'm on my way to Asia to discuss the ideas with our partners there. Thanks to my case study, I was given the opportunity to carry out an internship at Scott. But I couldn't forget John and our discussions. Alex got me interested in bikes again. Maybe it wouldn't be that bad after all to think about new transport solutions. Hi John, I just had a... fantastic new ID. Hey, Alex, I am your perfect partner for this business idea. <laughs>